Hey guys, what is going on? This is I, Apple Geek, and today I want to show you guys a way that you can bypass the passcode on an iPhone and get access to contacts, photos, all that good stuff. This loophole was first found by iDevice help, so I do credit him for finding this bug. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to defend against this from a stranger. So let's go ahead and get started. Today I'll be using my iPhone SE and I have access to my wallpapers, my pictures, my panoramas. So I'm in my camera roll right now and my, my phone is locked. My phone is locked. So in order to do this, you just need to have a locked iPhone, which I do have right here, and you need another device from which you can call this device. If you have a phone, you can call them, or if you don't have an iPhone, like you have an iPad or an iPod Touch, you can use FaceTime. It works just the same. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys what firmware I'm on. I'm going to go to Settings, General, About, and in here it says 10.1.1. I believe this also works on iOS 10.2 as of now, but Apple could fix that in the future. And this also will work on iOS 8 and iOS 9 as well. So this does go back quite a ways. So the first thing you want to do, because I don't have my password on this, let's pretend this is not my phone and I don't have the password. First thing I need to do is ask Siri who I am. So, hey Siri, who am I? You're Yen. That's what you told me. Anyway. So it's going to give me my contact information. Now on this contact card, it's going to show me my phone number. So if I scroll down a little, underneath this label, there will be my phone number. And if you guys do this to a friend, write that phone number down real quick or enter it into your other device. That way you can call them. However, if you don't have a phone, using their email will work just the same with FaceTime. So once you've got that, you can just exit out of Siri and then go on your other device and call them. So I'm just going to do this real quick with FaceTime. And on this device, they should show up. So here you want to hit message and hit custom. And as soon as you hit custom, you can go ahead and hang up on the other device. All right. So once you're in this menu, you want to go ahead and turn on Siri and tell her to turn on voiceover. So turn on voiceover and Siri will go ahead and turn on voiceover. And once that is on, we can go ahead and continue with this process. Now once voiceover is on, it should select some random thing on the screen like the iMessage bar. And what we want to do is double tap this top area, this blank area, and then tap the keyboard. So you want to double tap and hold on the top and then tap the keyboard immediately after. So I'm going to double tap and hold and then keep tapping on the keyboard until those three icons slide over like so. So once those three icons slide over, you can go ahead and disable voiceover with Siri. So turn off voiceover. Now once you turn off voiceover, you can begin typing in letters and looking at this person's contacts. So this is pretty crazy guys and I'm going to show you how to get into the photos now. So in order to access their photos, you want to just keep typing in random stuff and you want to look for a contact with a little I on the side. So just keep typing in letters until you get something and there it is. I have an email address with this little I right here. So I'm just going to tap this I. And once you're in here, you are in. You can see their photos. I'm going to show you how. So once you're in here, you can scroll down a little bit and you want to hit create new contact. And in here, just tap add photo, choose photo, and boom, you are in. <laughs> I mean, you can get to all their pictures. This is insane. So not only can you get to their contacts and see their emails and phone numbers, you can also see their photos and you can see where a specific contact lives and if that isn't stalkerish I don't know what is and if you want to get out of this screen at any time just hit the home button and you'll be sent back here this also works on iPad and it works on iPod touch as long as it has a passcode and it has FaceTime enabled or calling enabled or whatever it may be alright so I know some of you guys must be stuck on the step where you have to finick around with voiceover so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this process again just so you can get into your contacts so what you want to do first is ask Siri who this person's phones belong to. So I'm just going to ask, who am I? And then it's going to pull up the contact card to whom this iPhone belongs. 
So once you're in here, get their phone number or email and then go on another device and call them. So I'm just going to go ahead and call myself. And once you're here, hit this message button, hit custom and hang up on your other device. So once you're in this iMessage field, you want to go ahead and ask Siri to turn on voiceover. Turn on voiceover. And once this is on, you might want to turn down your volume because it is really, really annoying. And what you want to do is go ahead and tap on this blank area up here twice and hold and then tap the keyboard immediately after. So you want to double tap the blank area up here and then hold and then tap the keyboard. So double tap hold and then tap on the keyboard. Tap on the keyboard, keep tapping and there we go. So once you've tapped on the keyboard enough while holding that, these three icons will slide over. You can see the camera, that heart thing, and the app store. So once those three icons have appeared, you can go ahead and tell Siri to turn off voiceover. Turn off voiceover. So once voiceover is off, you can go ahead and start typing in letters and do that thing where you find a contact. So for me, it works really well if I tap on punctuation to find a contact with an I. However, some of them may not have the new contact option which is super weird all right now you guys know how to perform it i'm going to show you guys how to defend against it if somebody was to pick up your phone and try this on you now there is no way to defend against it if they already have your phone number or other contact information so if it's a friend trying to prank you then you're just gonna have to accept it as a prank but if a stranger was to pick it up this could be very dangerous so I'm gonna show you how to defend this against a stranger or prying eyes so you want to go to settings and you want to go to Siri and in here you want to turn off access on lock screen this will prevent Siri from telling the stranger what your phone number is or what your contact information is that way they can't FaceTime or they can't make a phone call to this device anyways guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like if you did that'd be great I hope this video helped in some way shape or form and of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this anyways guys until next time peace